In this video, I'm going to teach you how to create a YouTube banner for your YouTube channel, similar to the one on screen at the moment, in just a few minutes using free software and making it look good on all devices. Hey everyone, it's Graham here and welcome back to my channel. On this channel, I help break down into bite-sized chunks your path to online success. Each week I release videos showing tips, tricks and strategies to help you become successful online, all while showing you my journey along the way. If you are new to my channel and you like any of the content that is being shared, please take some time to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you don't miss out any content released by me in the future. Also, you can find any of the links relating to this video in the description box below. So let's get into it. Custom channel art for your YouTube channel is an incredibly important part of your branding. This is one of the first things that potential subscribers see when they come to your channel and is a powerful way to capture their attention even without them looking at any of your videos. It also helps communicate exactly why viewers should subscribe to your channel. So let's go step by step and show you how to create your own channel art using free software. Now in this video we're using free software but that doesn't stop you from using any software of your liking whether it be paid or free such as Photoshop, GIMP, Canva etc. In this video we'll be using Canva as it's easy to use and has pretty much every feature you need to get things done. And the principles applied in this video can be used on any software that you are currently using. So let's hop onto the computer and get creating. Okay, so we're just going to go to Canva. I have it open here already at the moment. And what you're going to do is basically have two options. One, you can put in your custom sizing and the other option is selecting a pre-made layout that's currently here. So if I just search in the search box here for YouTube, it'll give you the potential options for YouTube creations here. We're looking at this YouTube channel art which is 2560 by 1440 pixels. So with this as well, in the description box below, we've got a link through to the YouTube help guide where it gives you specifications and that on your channel art as well. And also the templates I'm going to be using, you can catch in the links below as well. So I'm just going to actually select this channel art here. I'm not gonna put in a custom sizing, but you're more than welcome to do so over here where it's got custom dimensions. If you click on custom dimensions, this pop-up comes up and you can put it in over here. But I'm just going to do a quick and easy way. I'm going to select the YouTube channel art over here. Okay, and now as you'll see on this is if you scroll down, you're able to see a whole bunch of different pre-made layouts for you at the moment. So if there's one that catches your eye, that thinks will be perfect for your branding and what you want to create on your channel, then by all means, use one of these. You can basically customize it once you select it, change up the font, change up the coloring, add in your flair, your character, etc. Um, so you're more than welcome to do so. But in this video, I'm going to actually just start off from a clean canvas and start off from scratch and work through it step by step. So I'm just going to go through to the top here. I'm going to select blank canvas over here. Okay, so now that it's open, what I'm going to do is load up the template that I'm going to be using. Now, this template you'll see has got certain dimensions on it that allows you to work within tablet range, mobile range, and desktop range. And is key for your channel banner because if you're on a different device, you'll only be able to see certain things on your banner. So I'm going to go to Uploads. As you can see, I've already loaded up the template, so I'm just going to select on that template. Now in this particular area, it pops up in this canvas, but you can see that it's a little bit small for the canvas itself. So what you do is you go to the corner, you just left click on it and just drag it out so that it hits each size. And same thing on the bottom left drag it out so that now we've got it covering the entire portion of the canvas that we're working with. So as you can see now, when we're looking at this here, your safe area in the middle here is actually what you're going to see on your mobile device. So if I'm looking on my phone, that's what I'm going to be seeing. The slightly bigger area here with the gray next to it is 
the bigger range for a tablet user. So when they look at it, they'll see up to that portion. And then similar with the desktop, if you're looking at your desktop side of it, it's going to basically cover this entire canvas. And what you'll notice as well on some of the channels is on the side of it, you've got subscribe button or call to actions or your website or Facebook links, etc. That'll show up on this side of your banner and will only appear in your desktop version of it. So just remember that it won't appear in the others, but it will appear on your desktop version. So those are the things you need to take into account when looking at the creating of your banner. What I'm going to do is basically do something similar to my channel banner. And you can see it now on screen. I went for a more simplistic and clean version. You can do whatever version you particularly feel like. But what I'm going to do is just sort of do a similar version now. Start from scratch and let's work through it as we go along. All right, so I'm just going to work basically from left to right and make sure that I cover all the areas that I need. So it'll be having social media elements on it. It'll have a description or detail about my channel. It'll have my name and it'll have a picture of myself. Okay, so I'm going to go to elements and I'm going to search for the social media icons that I want. I've already got them here as it stands. So I'm just going to select them. So the ones that I'm wanting is the Instagram. I want the Facebook and I want possibly the Snapchat side of it. So those are the three that I'm going to include on here. So let's just move them across, get them sized accordingly. So to size them, again, just go to the top right, click on your picture itself, go to the top right, left, however you want to size it, left click on it and just drag it to the sizing that you want. So I'm just going to maneuver this, click on it and drag it up to the top there, see if it's okay in size. I might just make it slightly smaller. That should do it there. The Facebook one, again, I'm going to drag directly underneath it. You can see now as I'm moving it along, there's these little dotted or dashed lines. As I move across, you can see it. So that can help you line things up. So I'm just going to line it up on the left of that and then resize it similar to my Instagram one. Now, if I want to move it down and you notice that it's sort of not giving you the exact spacing that you want when you're dragging it with your mouse, rather hold on shift and up, down, or side arrows, just to get the spacing that you want. So I'll do the same for the Snapchat, drag it across, size it accordingly. Looks like it's pretty much there, looks like it's similar line. All right, perfect. So then what I'm going to do is I've got the social media things there, just to notify people that I'm on these platforms. I'm not gonna put the name, you're more than welcome to put the name there if you want. I just like the cleaner version of it. Now we're going to put the about or the substance of your channel in a short little phrase. So I'm going to go to text. Now with the text side of it, you can see you can add heading, sub heading or normal body text. And then you can scroll through these and select any types of text that you would like on here. It's got pre-made layouts, pre-made fonts and so forth. So that might be nice and a good feature for your side. Okay, so I'm just going to see what's here. Let's actually choose, yeah, this one, let's just go for this. Okay, so I've selected it. We popped on here, I'm just gonna drag it out here. Gonna take away the person's name. So I'm just gonna click on there, highlight and remove. Then in this one, I'm just going to select everything so I can type in what I want on mine. And mine on my channel is marketing marketing entrepreneurship and investment okay so it's a little bit big so I'm just going to highlight everything drop down the font a little bit so let's try an 80 again that's probably too too big, so let's try a 56. Let's 
drag it along. So now you can either click on it here and drag or use this little icon at the bottom to drag along. I'm thinking it's still a little bit big, so let's just highlight everything and change up the font again. Let's maybe make it a 48. Forty-two. Okay, that 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 seems to work a little bit better. Let's just space out these gaps here a bit more. Okay, so now I've got the detail about what my channel is about. I'm actually just going to copy this one across here. Okay, so when I select on it, I'm just going to duplicate it. So I go to these three dots over here. Some of you, depending on your screen size, it might show on the right hand side here. So I'm going to select that, I'm going to duplicate it. Then I'm going to just move around so I can know that I've got the right one here. I'm going to delete this and mark here uh, new videos weekly. In fact, I'm going to say they new videos each week. Each week, I'm just going to size it up. Uh, press enter between there, drop it down. That should be okay sizing. I'm just going to make it smaller. And just drop it over there for the moment. So what I'm doing is just getting the text out the way. Okay, and I'm going to add in the heading font here. And I'm just going to say uh, Graham. Wilkinson, okay, I'm going to select everything, let's just choose a font that might be decent, uh, yeah, let's use this one here, run and write, okay, so we've selected it there, I'm going to resize it, If I want to change my spacing, you go to the spacing area here and you just change it up accordingly. Drag left or right, however you want it. I'm going to keep it roughly there. Okay. Now my alignment, I don't want center aligned, so I'm just going to align it left. So clicking on the alignment area here. And then I'm just going to tilt it like I've got similar to my one. In fact, let's just make the size a little bit smaller. That should be fine. And I'm just going to tilt it and drag it accordingly where I want. So that should be fine for the time being. I'll play around with it once I put a picture. So now I've got the text that I want on there. Again, that's just showing you the principle of what you can and can't do. I'm going to put a picture of myself on the right hand side here. And based on that picture, you might have to just resize a few things. And once we've, got, once we've got all the little elements in place, then we're going to put the background in. And the reason for that, and I'll show you that later, is when you change up the background with this template that we've got here versus a background picture, it'll actually replace one or the other. It won't have both, and you can't move one forward or backwards. So you kind of have to play with the one, remove the one, put the other in. So I'm going to just go to my uploads, I'm going to select a picture of myself that hasn't got a background. Now, if you want a picture or a background removed from a picture, check out the links below. There's a site called remove.bg. You can utilize that site, free site, very good. So I'm just going to resize my picture. Drag it across to the right here. Put it in line where I need. Size it down. Okay, so as can be seen now, my sizing is actually a bit too big on the text itself. So what I'm going to do is just select the text and I'm just going to resize the text a bit more. So let's make it a 36, probably too small. Let's try 39. Okay, 39 works. So I'm just going to move, maneuver it a bit there, make it a little bit more centered. So we've got that there. Name, I can now 
maneuver so we'll just pop you there should be good now what I want to do is just put a little bit of a, a backing behind this to emphasize that also I'm releasing videos weekly. You can put it behind the main area here being marketing, entrepreneurship and investment or whatever yours is, if it's beauty, whatever the case is. So I'm actually going to go to elements again and I'm going to choose a frame. Now I saw a frame here that was used, in fact let me just go and see all find the one there we go so I'm just going to select this one here so now I've selected the frame but now I want to choose a color so I'm just going to go to the color palette here I'm going to select on the new color area here let's select something along the lines of that should be fun so I'm going to choose that I'm going to just resize the picture a bit and then I'm going to drag it behind yeah, in fact, let's resize it a bit more. Text. Drag the text down a little bit. The spacing of the text, I actually want a little bit more in the spacing. There we go. Let's just maneuver it a little bit better so we center it up a bit more. Okay. That should be fine for how I want it at the moment. Okay, so on the right hand side, remember we mentioned that you only see those clickable links on a desktop version. So what I'm going to do is just put a call to action on here so that when we load it up there on the desktop version, you're able to see that particular call to action. So I'm doing the I'm going to do the opposite here. I'm going to just duplicate this text layer, drag it across here. Highlight the text layer and say, don't click. Just sort of that reverse psychology, you know, if people see don't click, they think, oh, let me click it anyway. So I'm just going to say don't click. You can put whatever you want on there. I'm going to, let's make it, uh, let's keep it dark for the time being. Okay. So we've got don't click. Now what I want to do is I actually want to add an arrow. So let's go to elements again. And I'm just going to search here for arrow. Okay, let's find one that's worthwhile. There's quite a few options here. Okay, I'm going to choose this one, yeah. Where did you go? There you are. Okay. So it's popped up there. So I'm just going to size it up. In fact, I'm going to choose, suppose this is a YouTube red or close enough. So I'm just going to size it up. I'm going to rotate it. And let's drag it across here. Let's resize it again. Up. all right perfect so now we've got the don't click over here and on the bottom piece here you'll have the subscribe you'll have your social media you'll have your call to action areas so now with that being said, I'm going to go to background over here and I'm just going to choose a background to place them. So let's just scroll through, see what catches my eye. Okay, let's just use this one here. All right, so now that I've selected it, you see what I mean by replacing the background image. So your template now has been replaced by this particular picture. So you can kind of see a little bit clearer of what the picture itself is gonna be. I think I'm going to leave it as that and I'm going to download this picture and then we'll pop it up onto our banner area and see what it actually looks like. So I'm just going to just name it here quickly. Okay, then I'm going to download it. So you click download, you click download there, it'll tell you PNG which is perfectly fine. Download. 
Best way to predict your future is create it. Abraham Lincoln. Wise words, wise words. Okay. So I'm just going to close out of you here. Save any pictures. YouTube banner. All right. So let's go to a YouTube account and load up the banner. So I'm just going to go into one of my other ones that I use for training purposes. So we've got this generic banner sitting over here. So I'm just going to hit the image picture here. I'm going to select or upload. So let's find where it is. Yeah, so we've loaded up the picture that we had. So now you can see what it looks like on desktop. You can see what it looks like on TV as well as mobile. You can adjust the crop by going through here. You can click on adjust crop and then you can play around with everything however you feel like, drag it across, etc, etc. I'm not going to do anything. I'm just going to cancel on that. Oh, let's go back into it. All right, then I'm just going to hit select. Now you'll see a change up over here. Okay, so there we have it. So you've got your channel banner as it is, your channel art. And as you can see on the right hand side here where it says don't click, you've got your arrow going through to your call to action areas over here. There we go everybody. So a channel banner art created for your YouTube channel. Quick, simple, easy and utilizing free software. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit that like button as it'll help out the channel a lot, specifically with the YouTube algorithm. Also, don't forget to subscribe and smash that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any releases by me in the future. And also don't forget to comment down below. We'd love to hear what you have to say. We'll reply to everybody when I can. Thank you everyone for watching. Take care, be safe, we'll chat soon.